Content warnings for this episode of Transmission Folklore include overall themes of drowning, murder, and toxic relationships, mentions of blood and mild body horror, and one loud car thunking noise after the car has been parked in the show. Please do what you need to to take care of yourself. Enjoy. Ah. Y- you're awake. I, uh... I bought us some kolaches in Jacksonville. Figured you'd need some. You know what I miss? Bucky's kolaches, specifically. Nothing feels quite as big and powerful as an overhyped gas station with its giant bronze beaver carefully watching over you. The stupid beaver brought us to civilization. (sighs) I miss my mom's gumbo a lot. I wish we had some. Er, uh, no, wait. Gumbo has fish in it, and... Fish eat fish. Also, I'm not a fish. Don't call me that. It's reductive, and also wrong. Alright. Well, what can we do to make the journey easier on you? Stopping as often as we need will slow us down, but not stopping will kill you, and I won't do that. The water is a good start. What next? I don't really know. I've never needed to be away for this long. How long do you need to be away usually? Sixteen hours is the most I can make it with no contact with water, period. After that, I'll do anything. It's usually not a problem. We've been in this car for two months. How did I not pick up sooner? Toilets at gas stations are filled with water. Ew. We do what we have to. Those toilets see the worst of humanity's assholes. I know. Uh, Take a left here. I'm going to stick my head out of the window to double check if cars are coming. The Lavender Lemonade Collective presents Transmission Folklore. So, these role players aren't going to feel weird about us just showing up? Nah. Ronan and Horatio are used to me. Uh, and we've talked about it before. We had an ex-army plan. Not sure if we're serious about it, but I think if I act like we were, they'll go with it. Like a weird game of chicken. Ex-army? If one of us has an evil ex, the others will raise an army. It sounded like a funny thing at the time. Uh, Hey, by the way, Rowan has wings. Don't be weird about it. Wings? I have a tail. Does Horatio have eight arms? Two arms, one hand. Not my business, never asked. My friends never made blood packs. Please, this is not a blood pact. No blood was exchanged. Still, it seems kind of friend culty. Which way here? We were not in a cult. Straight. Gaily forward. Go slow, though. There's a creek up there. A creek? Right. Not funny, Rowan. What's happening? Stop it! You'll scare the other guy. He's already got anxiety. My bumper! Oh my god, the wind ripped my bumper off. (laughs) Not funny. It was very incredibly funny. We can just put the bumper back on with some duct tape if you'd like. We should be able to make it match the door. Rowan, Horatio, meet my friend Carter. Carter is a very fleshy human. So be gentle with him. Oh, God, please never describe me as fleshy again. You are? You have flesh. Mostly scales. Not when we hang out, and you have flesh. And wings. Nice to meet you, Rowan Streams. It's a fake last name. 
Horatio, no last name. I thought you were done with the boonies. What brings you to visit little old me? Are you finally going to lead a game, like you promised? Last time they were here, they said they were done with the boonies. Those exact words. When we were having a 5B release party. Look, I brought news. You've brought news. And a normie. Is this your new normie boyfriend? Are you pregnant? Did you get Emery pregnant? Because you're not ready for that. Guys, stop. Serious. It, it's for real over with Emery. They didn't take it well. Carter saved my life with generalized anxiety in a 2006 PT cruiser. Look, I know the evil ex thing was mostly a joke, but Emery's not going to stop until one of the two of us is dead. But wait, this is a murder mission? You didn't tell me we were going to kill Emery? Yeah, Horatio's a witch and Rowan's got some fey magic. We could really use that right now. No, absolutely not. Carter, what did you think was going to happen? I think you're better than them. <sighs> you're not allowed to kill them. I'm sorry, you're not allowing me? Sorrel, you're above Emery. No, I'm not. They tried to kill me. I don't give a fuck if I need to be better than them. Sirens kill. It's what we do. We were born to destroy. I'll protect you from Emery, but please. What should I do? Beat them up? Carter, I do not want to die. It's a kill or be killed situation. We could curse them. We could curse them. Is that a thought you want to take off? Hmm. Which kind are you thinking? Why are you staring? He's never seen wings up close. You haven't grown any? No. Uh, my boy Jerus hasn't gotten me through that part of second puberty. Oh, well, I grew mine when I was in the 10th grade. Maternals told me about it, and fiction said it hurt. And it did. Wings break through your skin in the worst possible ways. Are you an angel? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're a fairy. Yeah, baby. These wings are made for causing powerful, powerful winds and chaos. Enough, you're moving me. Oh, sorry. I get carried away. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. You control the wind. Wow. Cool. Um, your wings are beautiful, though. I've never seen so many shades of iridescence sparkling. So many colors. You gotta be your own rainbow. So, Horatio, what spells are we thinking? Bust out that grimoire. 90s gaming is such an aesthetic. What is that? I coded a grimoire app. Find anything good? I'm looking through... my best bet would be... a banishment. To the Shadow Realm! Dude, I wish. My mom would kill me if I released that kind of magic into the world, and my vibes would be way off with that much negativity. Nah, it's like... restraining order level. But you have to obey it. They wouldn't be able to get within a football field of sorrow. Humane enough? Yeah, actually. It's a good, actually, out-of-your-life scenario. So would gutting them. I'm with the normie, actually. Look, I'll do a lot, but killing your ex? Dude, that's so tacky. Even for you. But my ex is Emery. You guys know Emery. Yeah, it was I who said dating someone you were miserable with was a mistake. And what did you say? Come on, Sorrel. That's not a good enough reason to leave them. I hate when you do that to me. You're missing the point. Look, if they're not in for killing him, neither am I. Banishment is the best we can make happen in trying times. Is it a spell that'll work four ways? Because none of us are going down for my dumbassery. Yeah, we'll need some bigger ingredients for a four way, but we can manage. What's in the spell? Faded passion, water of a new beginning. Everything is in my box up in Montana. 
to banish, blah, blah. I've got a long list for you. Can you gather the shit for the banishment spell? And you're sure murder isn't an option? You asked for our help. I'm not comfortable with murder. Neither is the normie. That's me, right? Yeah, you're normal. Like, comparatively normal. Com- compared to what? Us. Rowan is fae. Sorrel's a siren. I do magic. Oh. Uh, okay. Horatio just really doesn't want to be the resident normie anymore. Anyone can do magic if they try hard enough. She's just better at it than a lot of other normies. Could I learn magic? Hmm. Probably. Most folks can go down their line and find some fae in there. All you need is a little bit of fairy dust in your bloodline to do a spell. But we know nothing about fairies. You know a lot about fairies. It's just folklore. Fairies know who the reputable sources are. Can I know? If you do your research, sure. Let's focus on the spell. How long does it take? Because the song is what I'm worried about. (laughs) <laughs> Emery's infamous song. Is that why you dated? Emery's a lot of things, but not that. They wouldn't use a song to try and get me to date them. You sure about that? They didn't know anything about me when we started dating. We just had two original characters that meshed well together. Your roleplay stuff. Don't make fun of our roleplay. It was seriously legit. Uh... I wasn't trying to. What did you roleplay? He says he never roleplayed. No joke. He's a total warrior cat stan. I'm just saying, Adelaide Alice and Jethro Moss got along really well. Which totally means Sorrel and Emery would. I have a question. Uh, how are you able to be drowned? If you can breathe underwater, I mean. They weren't singing to get me to drown myself. They were singing to stop me from transforming. A siren song can do that. I think it helps avoid awkward transformations. You can sing it to yourself sometimes. Well, you can't. I can. Do you sing well? <laughs> <laughs> they sing like an angel. Like the horrifying Bible ones. <laughs> They're not terrible, but like... Not great. Rhythmic speaking gets the job done. I usually slam, but I don't really do a siren song that often. Why not? Traumatic backstory. Can you stop asking me questions about this? I'm sorry. I I just want to help. I know. Telling people is just not something I really do. Oh. Okay, I, I didn't realize it was like that. It's an important part of me, but every time I tell someone about it, I'd I'd have to explain the way it works. And it's frustrating as fuck. Which was the nice part about dating a siren. I I think I understand. Um, I'm sorry this is difficult. I'll work on making it better. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be the reason you're stressing out. You are. Side note... We may have an issue obtaining my lockbox. Why? I don't have a license anymore. Hmm. How far? Montana. Oh, I can't fly to Montana. Come with us? After all the shit you put me through, you really think I want to sit in a car with just you and a normie I don't know? You both can come with us. No. I will help you with this spell. I will not put my ass on the line. What if they call Maeve? She's still super pissed. It'll end badly. What do you do to people? I told you, I hurt a lot of people. And you don't feel like you need to speak up about it? You never apologized to me. I don't know how. Friendship is all about give and take. Look, I want to help you. I really don't want you to die. But you apologized to me. I need an apology. I'm sorry. I I can't make it right. I don't know how to make it right. But I need you right now. (sighs) Go on your own to get it. Meet us back here. I can't travel with you, but I won't let you die. (sighs) 
will follow the Mississippi River up till it hits the Missouri River. The Missouri drops off in Montana. Woo me with your river knowledge. We'll leave tonight. Rowan, you can take Carter to the auto zone or something to go get a new bumper since you so graciously broke it off with your wings. Can you say please? Please? No fucking around. Have you ever known me to fuck around? Are you allowed back in New Orleans yet? (laughs) What the fuck? I'll tell you about it when we get there. When we leave, you and Horatio keep us updated. If I don't hear from you, I will call you up, okay? We keep each other safe. This is gonna be a mess, but we will make it. Who died and made you optimistic? I'm not gonna kill anyone, so hopefully no one dies. I'm gonna head out. Sorrel, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. I missed y'all. Yeah, yeah. We missed you too. A lot. So you got this. Yeah, I got this, sweet. It's no problem. Don't matter if I die. I'll just pop back up in my grave. Can't be killed. Not really. And you'll be very quick. It'll get them out of my hair. You doubt me? I just don't get what you get out of this. You're not the only one Sorrel's fucked over. I just want it to be over soon. I am completely over them. Horatio and them ain't in the car, right? I won't do it if Horatio or Rowan or Ray could get hurt. Just Sorrel. All of them were there for your thing. But Sorrel's the only one I don't like. I like the ones I know. You're so judgy. You're so sad. I just want them out of my hair. Anyone else gonna get hurt? We're traveling with some normie. Is that an issue? Not for me. What about for you? No. This episode of Transmission Folklore was written by Nick Coates. Carter is voiced by Orion Ibert. Sorrel is voiced by Nick Coates. Rowan is voiced by Rowan Jules. Horatio is voiced by Kid Kerrigan slash Nina Nickelbeck. Mabe is voiced by Lilith Costo and Emery is voiced by Tal Manier. This episode was edited by Orion Iber. Special thanks to our supporters on Patreon and Ko-fi. Find out more about how to support us and to access transcripts and caption videos at www.transmissionfolklore.com. This episode's cryptid is the person you used to be. Whatever you do, don't capture them on video. <laughs>